here the high heels come back. This is called talking and walking the bomb. This piece speaks for itself. <laughs> Here a profile, she never told her love.com. This is a, a random Shakespeare quote. This Rasta girl is very, very far away from Shakespeare, but kind of romantic. You move her Rasta all around. <laughs> <laughs> Here there is another girl that she wants to be a club, but she's also dancing around. <laughs> that was made for an exhibition called What Remains Is Future. So I registered whatremainsisfuture.com. More girls. <laughs> Here, this one is uh, sitting doing nothing all day. I'm always thinking that my websites, I always see them a little bit like public sculptures because the internet, of course, is the most public, you know, space right now. So this one here is a is a website that wants to become a public sculpture, and actually a useful one that tells the time. So having this idea that the website can be like a, it's a public space in a conventional way, I, I heard that the first Athens Biennial was happening and it had this very, very intriguing title. It was called uh, Destroy Athens. So I immediately checked if it was uh, available. So, and it was of course, and I registered immediately. At the same time, the Athens Biennial partnered with uh, Istanbul and Lyon Biennials, and they also had very nice titles. So I decided to register them too and do this guerrilla project, which I called um, Website Triangle. And I did three pieces. Uh, inspired by this title and also a little bit my idea from each city. This is the piece for the Destroy Athens, for the Athens Biennial. <laughs> this is the one for in honor for the Istanbul one inspired by the Justinian sister. And this one here is for the Lyon, the history of a decade that has not yet been named. Ten bubbles.
these three pieces were shown in three different galleries during the Athens Biennial. Here, the perfect wide screen. And uh, shoot. widescreen and whitely.com This piece here became, came out uh, one, after one night I was contemplating uh, my horizon from my balcony. There were ferry boats passing by and stars falling. And I named it zigzagphilosophy.com. And actually one this piece, I don't know for a reason, it has one of the, it had uh, 700,000 visitors this fall only. I always check my website statistics. So. <laughs> <coughs> Another face here, and it has some company. This guy stumbling around, stumbling around. This is called Symmetry of, cha of Chaos, and it describes a bit my state of mind at that time. Here a passionate boy wants to destroy the existing towers. This is another commission for, an, for the new Kunsthalle Athena, a new art center that will, be op that will open in Athens this year. And lastly, there is this piece that I got inspired after reading Malarm Poetry, the French by Symbolist. And there was this uh, poem uh, called Scent that was speaking about an angel that is going home at night and speaks also about silence, loneliness. I felt very attached by it. Maybe it's a self-portrait. Thank you. <laughs>